Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to pack an order. Um, I had a lady order two custom sets. Um, I did my video on this one, um, how I prepared my press-on nails and then how I packaged it up. Um, but now I'm going to send it out in the mail. So I have numbered these guys and then... Um, this set is another set I did for her, so I forgot. I didn't number them, so I'm going to number them as well. Let's put this over here. So I, she just asked for a little hair or something. There we go. Um, so I did like a little glitter heart, some hollow glitter, some regular pink glitter. So I gave her a little variety. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So those are the sizes of the nails. Um, what I will include is a nail sizing kit. Um, I'm going to include two of everything because I'm giving her two sets. I want to make sure she has complete sets. So I just found this on the internet, just printed off a bunch of them. So now, um, so I've got left hand, right hand, and then she can go and measure. She can write them down and then, then um, and then she can take a picture and then send it to me. And then that way, uh, when she orders again, she will know if I can do a custom set for her. So these are the bags that I have. I got them from AliExpress. Uh, the only thing I don't like about these bags is, look, as soon as you put them in, um, you can hardly see the thank you. But when she takes them out, she'll see the thank you. So inside there, so I will put a nail sizing kit. I have instructions on how to apply and how to remove. So I always tuck those in the back. Then I put one of my business cards in there. An alcohol wipe. A nail glue and a cuticle stick and oh. I have a bunch of um, little files I only grabbed one so I need two so I'm gonna give her two of those and then she actually asked for sticky tabs as well as glue so I am gonna include that So I just put that around. So that's everything in that one. And then I'll put these ones in there. And then I will have her instructions. And wipe and business card. Glue, oh, sticky tab, file, orange stick. So when I try and lay everything flat, then I take this off. Now, if she was in town, um, she could come and pick it up and then I just give them to her like this. Um, however, she's requested um, for me to mail it out to her. Um, she is in town. She's in um, like in another city um, from me. Um, so, but it's just easier for her if I just mail it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to package it up for mail for her so seal that up so there's the two 
Now, I have these boxes um, from this, um, the slot box. And um, I'll link her down below. She's in Canada. And um, basically, these boxes are thin enough that they will go in a mail slot. Hence the name, slot box. So I just make sure I fold everything up. And then uh, the reason why I get these boxes is um, because they're thinner and they go through a mail slot, they're not charged as a parcel. Because if not Canada Post, will charge if it's charged if it won't fit in the mail slot it will be like $20 um, because they charge it as a parcel but because this is not it'll go through the mail slot it's just an oversized envelope so it doesn't cost me as much so there I got everything in there any little crumbs out so I make sure it's all nice and sealed so now more little crummies in there so there I do one this way and one that way just trying to get the blue on the side so it's not so bulky Oh, I forgot a little thank you note. Hang on one sec. Okay, I did want to say what I did was I did take out the glue. Uh, the reason being is they weren't sitting in here properly. So I wanted to make sure that um, they were sitting nicely. And I will try and put a little candy in there as well for her. And then her little note. there so now what I'm going to do is I will tape this to keep it shut uh, let me go get my packing tape one sec okay so I got some packing tape and then I will close that baby so it stays thin because I want it not to pop open um, and then that way um, it will fit through the mail slot now I have a little sticker. Um, my girlfriend, um, Nails of Interest, made me a bunch of stickers. Um, so I always put one on here as well. Now, unfortunately, because it's a box and um, I was told that it won't, um, you need to put it into a, like an envelope or something. So it doesn't catch on the machines. So I did buy these really thin... Um, plastic ones to protect them. Um, I, I unfortunately got them way too big because <laughs> I didn't know how big these were at the time when I ordered. I just got really super happy that I found pretty ones. Um, so what I do is I stick them in and then I fold it around, fold it around so it's all nice and neat. Get the air out of it. Oh, I folded it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, don't fold it the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. get the air out and take that off and then that okay and then what I do is I just get some packing tape and I seal both the edges and I will put my little sticker on the 
back. Okay, one sec. Okay, so there it is. And then all I do is I put my address label on there and um, it will go in the, uh, and then put my stamps on it and then put it in the mail and she will have it shortly. Um, so that's how I package them up for mail. And um, yeah, so I figured I would share that with you. Um, and uh, I don't know if that, this is just the way I do it. Okay, so I hope you found it helpful. Um, and um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe. And if you're in Canada and you want some custom press-on nails, give me a shout. Um, I can uh, make you some and have them sent out. And, you know, as you know, I make them all the time. So um, I have a bunch of pre-made ones ready to go. Okay. Uh, stay tuned for, I'll have, um, I don't think I'll have some, any pictures, but, um, I'll have some, uh, Daisy and Pippa coming up for you. Okay. Love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye.